It's frustrating, it's scary. I mean, you're literally becoming the worst version of yourself. When you have something going on inside of you and doctors can't explain to you, this is why it's happening like most other illnesses, it's terrifying because you're left at the end of the day with the question, will I ever get better? And I remember them telling me, you know, you have bipolar and I just thought, what now? You know, I literally saw all my dreams of, um, and everything go up in smoke. Bipolar is the most lonely and most isolating illness to go through. I went a year where I was suicidally depressed. I mean, a whole year where I literally couldn't get out of bed. I was trying all different new medications and I was just getting worse and worse. Felt like I was playing Russian roulette with my health because oftentimes I'd have side effects that were unbearable, especially being a mother of young children and babies and trying to care for them, all while having these massive side effects from medications that were making me sicker. I feel like those 10 years were stolen from me in many ways. I hate to say it, but I look at my pictures of my babies and what goes through my mind is, Oh, I remember that day. I remember crying that day in the morning, and I remember crying myself to sleep, and, and those are a lot of the memories that I have. So the rock bottom for me was when I had had, I, I couldn't even tell you how many medication changes within like a three month period. It was new medication here, new medication there, up this one, down this one, and my body was going into some kind of shock. The medication was just absolutely out of control. I mean, I, at that point, I might as well have been addicted to drug, street drugs. It was so horrible and we're like, something has to change. So that's when my husband said, we're going to the best of the best or where we thought was the best and decided to go to Mayo Clinic. The trip to Mayo Clinic saved my life because they decided, they asked me if I would be willing to um, spend the money to do the genetic test. And I am so thankful that we did because it gave me my life back. It gave me the ability to be a mother. It gave me the ability to be the wife I always wanted to be, to be the friend I always wanted to be. Um, it's, it's, it's changed my life. I know the doctors all have my best interest at heart. However, if they have the capacity to find out like what my genetics say about my body and what medications are going to work for my body, they need to be doing that for everyone. Without that medication that they found with genetic testing, I would not be where I am today.